be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. This video, I'm gonna be showing you how to flip samples in a way that avoids copyright infringement in Logic Pro 10. So that's kind of how the, the, the video is gonna be preference. Okay, I'm gonna give you one way that you can flip samples um, to avoid copyright infringement in Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and just start off here with an audio track. And what I'm gonna do is just go over here to Splice. I got some different samples, different um, song starters and stuff like that. We'll go to Melody and um, we can even go to Genre, go to Hip Hop. It's gonna pull up a lot of my melodies here that I've picked out let's just check this out we're primarily probably like a soul some type of a soul sample So first is this sample right here. What you want to do is just drag and drop it right here into Logic Pro, okay? Um, we're gonna go ahead and want to put this at like 150. This is 75, so. But basically, after you do that, you're gonna want to right click on this and go down to processing and go to the go to the stem splitter. This is gonna break your sample into different parts. So we got vocals, drums, bass, and other. And so this is gonna be the best, the best way to go ahead and manipulate samples in Logic Pro 10 in a way that is not going to cause infringement by basically breaking up the stems and chopping each stem up. So let's just check that out. Just push, uh, just push split right there and it's gonna do it. As you can see here, we have, I guess this is our drums. Like this drum pattern right here definitely can be picked up, you know what I'm saying? So like what we can probably do is just take that out. And now what, what do we have here? We can just take some of the other parts out. Let's see what we got. All right, bet. So we're gonna start off with this one. Um, obviously, there's certain things you could do to it. You could just chop it up every four bars and just rearrange those. Push Command D here. So put that one first. Maybe this one, then this one. And now you just have like a complete new sample. So then when you put the bass back on there, and then you can also do this with the bass as well. Um, chop that up. Okay. 
There's some other things you can do, obviously, is to pitch this like up, down, different things like that. I'm gonna pitch it like two semitones down. So I'll just hold down option, push the uh, down arrow two twice. One, two. Another thing you could do to, you know, kind of chop things up is come over here and like before the next part starts, just bring this guy here and just like do some little chops. Pretty much what you're looking to do here is just make it so that whoever gets this sample is not going to be able to do something that's similar. So gonna hold down shift option and up that's gonna take this up an octave so you pretty much have everything now um, it's kind of mixed up but what I would do now just to really differentiate it is to start throwing plugins on here one plugin that you can throw on here is like the beat breaker plugin comes with Logic Pro 11. And that breaks it up enough for it to not, you know, saying sound like somebody else's record. Put this on this other stuff.
So yeah, man, that's gonna be today's video. Appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. If you like the video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you go ahead and share it with a friend. Also, make sure you head over to my website, bemakingbasics.com. Cop a course, full video courses on the site. Um, hours of curriculum, hours of training, you know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on that, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's gonna be a shortcut to learning music production, especially as a, if you're a beginner. So head over there, check out what we got going. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, and y'all, I'll see you in the next video. We're out.